podcast where we spill the truth about the ups and downs of writing and the ins and outs of the publishing industry. Hi, hello, good morning. I decided two days ago that I was going to participate in Camp NaNoWriMo and finally work on revising my first draft. I don't know how it's going to go, I don't know what you're supposed to do, I've never revised any of my first drafts before so this will be um quite an adventure <laughs> i think i just don't know how to go about this when it comes to setting a goal for the month um because i don't know if i want to set myself like a word goal uh even though i'm probably gonna have to rewrite all of this okay so i've read a couple of pages and already i'm starting to see a lot of pacing issues which um from what I've seen of like the tips on how to revise and stuff, um, pacing is one of the things that I should focus on because it's like I should just focus on like big picture stuff. So like pacing, plot, um, what is it, character, uh, a couple of other things, I don't know, I wrote it down. Anyway, I don't think the first scene that I wrote in this draft should be the scene that happens in the story. Good morning, it is Camp NaNoWriMo day 2. I'm going to spend today reading the entirety of my zero draft and writing notes down um, because I was going to do that all day yesterday and I thought I could do it all in one day but I can't. Um, so that hopefully starting you know tomorrow and the next day and stuff I can start actually like revising and editing and like trying to plan out um, how I want to structure my story. Hello. <laughs> what are we watching? Pet Cemetery, and I'm really tired. I haven't worked on my writing for a couple of days. I think the last time I actually worked on it was on Saturday. It is now Thursday. Um, just some updates. I am no longer in Melbourne. I am back home at my parents and um, yeah I flew here. I think on the Sunday I just didn't want to work on my writing because we went to a gallery and then um, on Monday I don't know what I was doing on no I I had some stuff that I needed to sort out um, on Monday and then on Tuesday I was flying back and let me tell you the flight like the whole like airport process was so stressful it was really weird because like domestic flights ended up being more stressful for me than like international flights I went to Bali and you know I I went there on my own and I got back on my own and everything was fine you know but for some reason going from where my sister lived and then I had to catch like the coach bus thing um, to the airport and then from there I had to find my terminal and, and all that stuff and for some reason it was just so stressful I don't know what was happening um, but yeah so I didn't really I think I took a footage of me trying to find my gate or something because it kept changing um, but other than that I just wanted to get back home I was like I, I am so done I just want to be home it's the curse of the weed <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't sound so scary now. <laughs> well, the weeping woman just sounds like there's gonna be a lot of screaming. It's gonna anyway. be a lot of. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think that's the whole movie. La Llorona. La Llorona. Oh, you've already destroyed your pie. <laughs> Are you going to 
say hi. <laughs> <laughs>